expert in anything to be perceived as an expert because whoever edits the material, almost always anonymous, it is assumed that they're an expert. Show me the proof. We have not been able to find that proof. And while Wells has said he considers his role akin to that of a constitutional monarch, largely ceremonial and ultimately all but powerless, he has the ability to override the actions of any any other user and has deployed these godlike powers to shape the narrative. Favoritism, rules enforced unevenly, pay-for-play editing, ideological hit squads, hundreds of factions conspiring to various degrees of secrecy to game the system. All this goes on with Wells' blessing. The Wikimedia Foundation has violated its charter, we believe, as a non-profit and stripped itself of the immunity conferred by Section 230 of the Communications Decency Act by involving itself editorially in the contents it hosts, by choosing which editors are allowed a platform, and by choosing when and where to enforce its rules. But I want to make this very clear, especially for the attorneys in this audience, or those who are concerned about social justice issues. Let me repeat this so you're very aware. Up to this moment, Virtually all of the editors and the managers and the directors, the entire cacophony of people involved have assumed that they could do anything they want, write any libelous statement they want, be as inaccurate about a person, living personality they want, with impunity, mock, give the finger to that person and the public. And they were probably correct because no one took the time or the scholarship to look for the truth. That's changed. So just remember, it is our opinion that the Wikipedia, Wikimedia Foundation has violated its charter as a nonprofit and stripped itself of the immunity, immunity conferred by Section 230 of the Communications Decency Act by involving itself editorially in the contents it hosts. So, let's see how that plays out. Now let's go to the I accuse. Jimmy Wells did not create Wikipedia, though he has edited his biography more than half a dozen times to give the impression that he did. Larry Sanger whom Wells attempted to airbrush out of history, left Wikipedia in disgust soon after its launch. Quote, Wikipedia never solved the problem of how to organize itself in a way that didn't lead to mob rule. On the one hand, it isn't a mob at all. It's highly organized and structured, and there's a lot of rules. But on the other hand, the way that the community is organized isn't codified or decided upon in any way any type of constitutional way. So there might be some people who selectively apply rules according to positions that others take on their uh, pet issues. And that's inherently unfair, end quote. In effect, it is our belief that the inmates have taken over the asylum and they are running it with the blessings of Jimmy Wells himself. Wells may not have founded Wikipedia, but as its public face, he has influenced the character of the site more than anyone else. It is his face users see during fundraising campaigns to bring in far more cash than the site requires to operate. $89 million last year, fueling the growth of an unaccountable bureaucracy top-secret projects hidden from the Wikipedia rank and file, and an increasingly detached sense of responsibility for the very real harms caused by its contents. Wikipedia has allowed itself to be weaponized, in our opinion, to do the dirty work of the ruling class, and anyone that deviates from the establishment line is fair game to be smeared, attacked, and destroyed. Was that what the law was supposed meant to do, to allow this to happen? I think not. 
Wikipedia's elite operate in secrecy. In general, the more a user or group on Wikipedia protests that there is no, quote, cabal of powerful editors running the show, the more likely they are to be the members of it. Wells himself joked about forming a, quote, cabal, end quote, to enforce policy back in September 2001 when the site was just getting off the ground. His ideas became the Arbitration Committee, which some have likened to Wikipedia's, quote, Supreme Court. Skilled in navigating the dense thicket of rules that has grown up around Wikipedia and hundreds of administrators who form the next layer of bureaucracy are able to control what remains on the encyclopedia and what or who is deleted. If these powers were wielded fairly, their influence would be welcome. But the rules are instead used as a, as a hammer to enforce ideological conformity. Wikipedia isn't just dismissive of expertise. It's actively hostile to experts. While one of the site's many policies discourages editors from removing something just because they dislike it, Wells and the ruling cadre have made an exception for themselves. From the beginning, Jimmy Wells surrounded himself with a cadre of admirers willing to do his bidding, editing his biography when his own self-editing was exposed, or attacking his enemies when they asked difficult questions on his talk page. And these, these people for hire became Wikipedia's ruling class, shaping narratives made in, to order and serving them up as more real than reality. But there is abuse of the nonprofit status. The Internal Revenue Service forbids 501c3 organizations like the Wikimedia Foundation from participating in political campaigns, quote, on behalf of or in opposition to any candidates for elective public office. A ban which extends to con quote, contributions to political campaign funds or fund a public statements of position, verbal or written, made on behalf of the organization in favor of or in opposition to any candidate for public office, end quote. IRS policy clearly states that, quote, violating this prohibition may result in denial or revocation of tax-exempt status and the imposition of certain excise taxes, end quote. The policy further explains that, quote, voter education or registration activities with evidence of bias that A, would favor one candidate over another, or B, oppose a candidate in some manner, or C, have the effect of favoring a candidate or group of candidates will constitute prohibited partic participation or intervention, end quote. That is, not, that is not known to most people, but that is the law. We have verified and checked that. The Wikimedia Foundation has dipped its toe into political waters on several occasions. Management is aware of the perils of getting politically involved. One of the first major Wikipedia scandals broke in February 2006 when it was discovered that the U.S. congressional staff were scrubbing the biographies of their politicians, removing broken campaign promises and scandals and other undesirable details and adding glowing tributes and favorable information. At the same time, negative information was appended to the biographies of their opponents, and some ambitious staffers were replacing their candidates' biographies wholesale with staff-authored versions. Wikipedia responded initially by banning congressional IP addresses, at least the site appeared to be complicit in the political self-promotion which would have torpedoed their nonprofit status. When Google search results returned Nazism as the ideology of the California Republican Party just a week before that state's primaries earlier this year, Google blamed Wikipedia, explaining that the Google, quote, knowledge box that contained the offending term is often populated with Wikipedia text. The, quote, vandalism 
had remained on the party's Wikipedia page for six days before it was corrected, hidden in a piped link where the link text and the alt text read differently. Meanwhile, other edits were reverted within a few minutes, suggesting this one was allowed to persist, deliberately hidden so it would openly appear in Google search results. Whether or not it was deliberate, it is not the first time Wikipedia has appeared to promote the neoliberal wing of the Democratic Party. Such apparent political bias makes more sense in light of the fact that Wikipedia found, Wikimedia Foundation contracted the Minnesinian group run by Clinton Foundation Chief of Communications Officer Craig Minnesian to train Wikipedia's own C-level employees and directors and managers in media strategy for the year 2014-15. Minnesian was further tasked with conducting, quote, a communications audit of the 2016 election. Some editors among the Wikipedia rank and file were unhappy about having their territory politicized, particularly given how much of Wikipedia's money was going to Minnesian. $406,104-2015, And while the details of Minnesian's activities are not public, the group did issue a report detailing its audit findings, which primarily consisted of parsing media coverage by subject, county, country, publication, and author, and ranking outlets in terms of prestige. Wikipedia was advised to focus on portraying itself as trustworthy and neutral in the media, even while it, quote, was seeking out and dis- dispelling controversial issues. The audit recommendation was to concentrate on building a rapport with, quote, friendly journalists, writing on for what Wikipedia editors would call, quote, reliable sources. Minnesian had a history of planting stories favorable to the Clinton Foundation and, quote, friendly media, as Wikipedia revealed in its Podesta email dump, which included a message from Craig Minnesian himself boasting a favorable coverage he had secured for the foundation on the Colbert report. Wikipedia editor Sash, uh, Sashi Rawls linked to, uh, liked the Minnesian hire to the arrival of a, uh, a crew of military editors on the Clinton Foundation article who kept it scrupulously clean of any mention of the billions of dollars the foundation took in from victims of the Haitian earthquake, but never distributed to victims, opting to construct a lucrative industrial park in an undamaged area of the island itself. Clinton's own Wikipedia article is similarly spotless, bearing only a sanitized summary of her, quote, email controversy and no mention at all of the revelations from WikiLeaks and the DNC and personal email document dumps. No mention is made of the invasion of Libya on false flag premises and pretenses or the fallout from the, that invasion. Indeed, reality is directly contradicted with a mystifying sentence reading, quote, there was a trend of women around the world finding more opportunities and in some cases feeling safer as a result of Clinton's actions in visibility, end quote. Sourced to a book called The Hillary Doctrine, the article was, quote, protected, meaning frozen, so that only high-level administrators can make a change, and includes the option to listen to it as audio, indicating it will stay frozen in that state. The efforts of a clique of ideologically motivated editors to whitewash political entries are of particular interest given the deployment of such teams on the other social media sites like Facebook, Reddit, Instagram, and Twitters during the 2016 election. Clinton strategist and fundraiser David Brock uh, correct the record 
uh, super PAC spent at least $1 million